Lewis, your uh, tea's ready. Ugh, it's about damn time. Why have you got all the fucking camera shit set up as well? Well, I thought we'd save some time and maybe, you know, do a video whilst we have tea, since I have everything set up already. Oh god, this isn't a fucking stupid Q&A bullshit rehash you decided to do, because, oh, it's slightly different from everyone else's fucking Q&A. There's a better way to put it than that, for fuck's sake, but in essence, yeah, pretty much. Just settle in, drink your tea, and we'll take turns answering and asking questions. Does, does that sound good? <sighs> Only because you've already made me tea. Okay, great, wonderful, amazing, spectacular. Uh, first question is from Ica Iron Fang. He's a Patreon. Thank you. There's a Patreon link just below. Shameless plug. Fuck it. Just any money is amazing. Okay. Uh, what's this question? Um, is Artemis getting new slippers for Alan? Oh, for fuck's sake! I already know the answer to that. Well, goddamn right I am. I'm gonna make sure we get to 100 pairs this year. We really don't have room for that many slippers, boy. Then you better find the fucking room. Uh, are these my questions down here to read? Okay, uh, from Johnny Bunn. Have you ever been offended by someone inside or outside the community by simply saying that you are asexual? Only really that one bitch at work who um, really just kept insisting that I wasn't asexual. Like, it's a hormone problem, or you've met, not met the right person yet. And um, I, I ended up just snapping at him and saying, you know, I'm really sorry that you found the one person in the world who won't chuck a fuck into you, but hey! Here I am! Chuck a fuck! Nice! C classy, that, yeah. Oh, shut up. Uh, Guardian Echo asks, uh, beside tea and slippers, what other things are you passionate oh. about? Well, uh, well, I'll be honest, like, tea and slippers are a pretty big part of my life, to be perfectly honest, as well as, um, <coughs> myself. But, um, I suppose Doggo also likes the, the video stuff, and, oh, photography, photography's fun. Yeah, of your pause. Well, yeah, yeah, but, cute. And I, I suppose, I mean, I always, um, I, I like um, uh, uh, being a good boy. I'm sorry, what was that? Speak up. <sighs> being a good boy. Oh, bless the good little doggo. Oh, just stop. Just no. Ugh. Anyway, uh, Taylor Wolf says, do you think your life would be drastically different in any way if you never become a furry? Well, obviously it would, yes. Of course, I'd be fucking miserable and alone and likely fucking dead by now, in all honesty. So, yeah, I'm just glad I found this place and the people in it. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm glad too. You know your- Yes, yes, I know, my soft, caring side is showing. Uh, fuck it, it keeps coming out, I might as well just learn to be fucking comfortable with it by now. Good point. I cry and fang again. What really happened to Artemis on that day? Uh, oh. Yeah, we we don't really bring up that day or what happens. It's um, it just stirs the waters a bit. So we might have to move on. Please don't make me go over that again. Hey, hey, hey! No, it's all right. It's okay. Read me the next question and we'll move on. Okay. Okay. Um, this one from Ica Iron Fang again. Um, would you ever would Aaron ever get another dog? Oh hell yeah! God damn fucking right! I would fill this house with collies. <gasps> You, you, you get more collies, would you actually? Oh, you like that? Oh, okay, yeah, watch this space. Yay! Yay, my people! Yes, we shall start a collie sanctuary. <laughs> okay, uh, Switch asks, who is your biggest inspiration in the fandom? This ought to be fucking good. Ha! None of them. Right. Do you want to give a proper answer? No, no, seriously, that's the answer. Like, there wasn't, like, one person I looked at and went, Oh my god, you're so amazing, I want to make videos just like you! Because there's already enough people doing that, which is why we see the same old videos time and time again. More like there was a long list of people that I looked at and went, Yep, yeah, you've all done those videos before. I, I'm not going to do any better. I'm not going to do anything different. So I'm not going to do those fucking videos. And I just basically use them as a guideline of what not to do. Not that their videos are shit or anything. I'd never say that. Would I? But um, clearly there's no point in me fucking doing it. So I might as well try and be doing something different. Like, you know, almost fucking that lineup. But I pulled it back at the last second. So we're keeping this cut in. Damn. Fair enough, I suppose. Hopefully that doesn't offend too many people. It's the truth, I want to do something fucking different. It's more interesting that way. Anyway, uh, oh look, here's a switch for you. Um, how has the fandom changed how you interact with people in your life who are not in the fandom? Uh, well, I make more revealing jokes. Like, uh, if they're talking about dogs and cats, I, I stare them dead in the eye and go, I don't like cats as much because I'm a dog person. You know, because of him, for fuck's sake. Um, other than that, I just drop loads of hints. Like, I, I don't give two shits about, you know, anybody knowing about any of this bullshit, for fuck's sake. I don't get involved with my workmates, so 
don't really care. So basically you just try and be me then? Yeah, you can't just take credit for every bit of sarcasm for fuck's sake boy, right? It's not copying you. Okay, next one from Alexander Pony. How many slippers have you got an hour now? <laughs> not enough. It will never be enough. I think uh, the actual number is like about 80 pairs now. Clearly we need more, obviously. Right. And you don't think that's overkill. I only have two feet. Of course, of, of course you don't think it's too much. What, what was I thinking? We always need more for fuck's sake. Pete's deserve to be comfortable. You're on them all the fucking time. Uh, we got another one from... Oh look, it's Switch again. Uh, worst customer service experience you've had working with the public. Christ, try and narrow it down. Fuck, there's loads. Um, it could be the 12 year old punching her mum in the face. Or... Oh fuck, maybe it was the dude throwing up blood in the urinals. Four times in an hour and a half. That was impressive. Or there was the old man shitting on the floor 15 minutes into New Year's Day. That was how I started my 2018. That was nice. Um, oh God, no, it's got to be the time that the grown ass man tried to convince me that his four month old baby met the 0 0.9 meters tall height restriction to go on a ride. And I had to be the one to tell him that I cared more about his child's safety than he did. You actually cared about a child? Yeah, well, only because I was being paid to at the time, for fuck's sake. Anyways, Joe Benedetti asks, uh, Did you like PG tips at one point, but lose your taste for it after tasting a higher quality? Yes, he did actually make a fucking pun on that one. Jesus, that was painful. No, I fucking didn't. I tried that shit once during my puppy years and despised it instantly, just like any fucking true Englishman would. And then I moved on to the good shit, you know, I muddled through that horrible, horrible nightmare of tea and got onto something better. Uh, okay, we've got done one for you again. Um, fuck, you could have made this easier for me to read for God's sake. We got one from Beat Boop 537, I'm not making that up. Does Artemis ever hide during thunderstorms? No, no, wait, yes, no. Yes, all the time, every time. He no, 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 he's stop, a stop, little stop fucking soppy dog. Sometimes I have to sit and hold him until it's gone. Oh, well, fuck, fuck off, just stop with that shit. Can we just move on from you being a dickhead? All right, all right. Soft little dog, little puppy bitch. Goliath the Mirror Bat. What is one thing Fleshy Bastard does that gets on your nerves? One thing, that is. He's just fucking done it for God's sake, always ruining my reputation. I mean, I was doing all right as being the salty dogo who takes hot takes on people, whatever the fuck that is. Then he comes along and makes me look all caring and soft and lovely. And really, I'm just that same old salty, sarcastic bastard who gives zero shits about the feelings of snowflakes who can't take a fucking joke and treat everything as a fucking popularity contest. So, you know, basically 80% of the fucking fandom. Okay, we got another question for you. Uh, Ryan Fenfox, how the fuck do you two cope living with each other? Christ, good question. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell, sometimes I wonder. Um, well, we're actually pretty compatible, like, we can both take banter and sarcasm at least. <laughs> Unlike most furries. Exactly. <coughs> Subtext. <coughs> but ultimately, in a weird, twisted sort of way, we, you know, you know kind of, uh, care about each other. Well, don't sound so fucking hesitant about it, Jesus. You hate it when I'm honest about this shit for fuck's sake. What if I go tell them, I love living with Artemis, I love my dog, he's made my life complete and I've made his life complete and he loves me too in a platonic, asexual, totally non-romantic way. Don't get it twisted in your head, you disgusting, yiffy bastards. Yeah, but, ah, oh, shit. Soppy dickhead. At Strange Town 3011. What's the best career for a collie, being smart doggos and all? Well, the little ones do a good job of herding. I mean, they are fucking amazing in that. Keep the sheep safe, make sure they're going where they need to go. But uh, me, I'm a different collie. I'm a bit better than that. I'm a bit more evolved. I'm, I'm kind, I'm gentle, I'm, I'm loving. I am a shining beacon of being level-headed and stable and uh, not picking fights, not antagonistic in any way. I measure my words, I never say anything that could be misconstrued or anything that might upset anyone else. I am pretty much the beacon of the furry community, exactly what everybody should be like all the time, absolutely perfect and better than everybody else. Are you fucking... Say that again, but slowly. I was being sarcastic for fuck's sake. There was a fucking notification at the bottom of the screen just in case it wasn't obvious enough. I mean, how hard is it to detect sarcasm these days, honestly? Depends on who you ask or what social media platform it's on. Ha! <laughs> preach, boy, preach. 
Okay, we've got one from Joe Benedetti again. What if Artemis suddenly went mad one day and uh, chewed up all of your slippers apart from your least favourite pair? That could literally never happen. Literally never. And I'm using that word the way it was supposed to be used. Like, I have never really seen Artemis chew on anything at all. That's like one dog trait that he doesn't exhibit. Um, actually, quite a few. Of course not. I'm a good boy. You know, I've worked far too hard for far too long to keep your feet nice and cosy and warm, for God's sake. You'd be more likely to burn my actual shoes and force me to wear slippers to go outside of the house. You know, that's more your style. Oh, now there's an idea. No, just no. Okay. Okay, another one from Guardian Ikor. How has Artemis learned to trust after what happened to him? Um, Slowly. Yeah, just reassurance and stability, I, I suppose. Why do we have to just keep bringing this up? Can we just... Can, can we not... No, it's alright, it's alright, but we can move on. Look, you knew they were going to ask questions and they were going to be curious about it after, you know, that. So, what's, what's my next one? Read me my next one. Alright. Um, oh, what makes uh, Artemis such a good boy, even if he swears like a drunk sailor? That's from uh, a Georgie Woofy. What makes you so great? Are you sure you didn't just put that one in there for your fucking self? Oh, ha fucking ha. But he's a sweet, caring doggo, and sometimes he does let that show. And um, I appreciate his saltiness. That's always a fucking laugh. That's fun to have around the house sometimes. But he's actually he's pretty good around the house. Like, he was a fucking lifesaver when I broke my ankle. Jesus. Um... He's just good company. He's a, he's a good boy. Yay! Yay, I am a good boy. I am such a good boy. Oh, and he can't help being a fucking soppy dog sometimes. And that's just cute. Oh, for God's sake. That's just uh, weird. Uh, oh, shut up. You love it. Last one then from Joe again. Uh, I know you asked not to be psychoanalyzed, but were you trodden upon by a large, soft paw in your youth? Well? I am... Um I mean, I mean, obviously fucking not. How, did, how is that even a thing that... Fucking furries always coming up with weird shit like this. Jesus Christ. No. No, I wasn't. But it could serve as a reason for your love of paws. But I don't even like stumps. They're not cute or cuddly or anything, for fuck's sake. Don't tar me with that brush. Oh, enough of this lewd weirdness, for God's sake. I got the uh, last one for you from... Oh, it's Nierian. Um, what was Artemis like as a puppy? Oh. I, um, I actually don't know. Um, we found each other after all of that. Artemis, what would you say you were like as a puppy? Was I like as a puppy? Naive. And, and, and too fucking trusting. But you were still a good boy though, weren't you? Eh? You were though, weren't you? You were a good little boy. Well, I mean, obviously I was. I've always been a good boy. <laughs> there we go. Anyways, um, so that's the questions all done. Are we, uh, are we happy with that? Is that... Quality content, do you think? Oh, that's a stupid question to ask you, isn't it? Well, I guess. I mean, even if you did fucking ambush me with this, for God's sake. What happened? Did you run out of writing material and had to resort to typical pop your fur tricks just to squeeze out a fucking video this week? No. Well, I mean, no, no, no. It was nice to include, like, some fan interaction and, you know, include the patrons in something. They got to exercise some of that, you know, input that they pay for. Uh-huh. Okay, don't worry, dickhead. I'll write something better for next week. It's okay.